Hello all. In this lecture, we will discuss about memories in system wedlock. So, in system wedlock, in system wedlock, we have two types of memories. One is packed arrays, and other is unpacked arrays. So, coming to packed arrays, packed arrays are the packed arrays are the arrays in which element. in which elements are stored in contiguous memory locations so here the size of the array should be mentioned before the name of the array like this the syntax of the packed arrays is as follows data type size of the array name of the array like this this is the syntax of the packed array here the memory the elements are stored in contiguous memory that is one element is stored after other element and packed array is also classified into two types one is single dimensional array and other is multi dimensional arrays so coming to single dimensional array so this is the syntax for a single dimensional array here the data type of the array should be mentioned and here the size of the array should be mentioned and this is the name of the array so this is a pictorial representation of a pack array so here the elements are stored in a contiguous memory one after other the elements are stored in a contiguous memory that is in only one row all the elements are stored and coming to multi dimensional array this is a syntax for multi dimensional array so here the data type of the array and here the size of the element and 2 down to 0 represents that three elements are present of each element of size 8 bits 8 bit 8 bit and 8 bit so this is the example for multi dimensional array where each element is of 8 bit and 2 down to 0 represents that each element is replicated three times that is there are total three elements there are total three elements each element is of size 8 bits and from the figure we can see in the packed array all the elements are stored in a contiguous memory here we can see that all the these three elements are stored in the same row of a memory for example this row is a small part of a big memory here packed array represents that these three elements are stored in a same row so because of this packed array there is no memory wastage so this is about packed array coming to unpacked arrays we can access each element individually from we can access each element each element individually from the other for example here in case of packed arrays here we cannot access individual element separately if we want to access this second element we have to go into a for loop for each loop and we have to access this second element after this first element if we want to access this third element we have to extract these two elements after that we will be getting this third element in case of unpacked arrays that is not the case here each element is independent of other that is we can access each element individually from other the elements in the packed array are not stored in contiguous form whereas in packed arrays the elements are stored in a contiguous form that is here it is a big part of here is a small part of a big memory here all these three elements are stored in a contiguous form that is these three elements are stored in the same row whereas in case of unpacked array the elements are not stored in a contiguous form the syntax of unpacked array is as follows followed by array name size of the array size of the array is placed after the array name whereas in unpacked array size of the array is placed before the array name this is the difference between packed and unpacked array again unpacked array is also differentiated into two types single dimensional and multi dimensional the example for unpacked array of single dimensional so here the dimension of the this is the data type of the array and this is the name of the array and this is the dimension of the array here 
they are total five memory locations here they are total this is the depth of the memory here each element is stored in different memory locations element 1 element 2 element 3 element 4 element 5 and element 6 here each element is stored in different memory locations this is not contiguous element 2 element 3 element 4 and element 5 this is the difference between packed and unpacked array here each element is stored in different memory locations whereas in packed array each element is stored in same contiguous memory locations like this so coming to multi-dimensional array the syntax for multi-dimensional array is as follows first we have to declare the data type and we have to declare the size of the element here in this case the size of each element is 8 bit and here the name of the array and here the here 8 represents the number of memory locations here each element is of 8 bit length and they are stored in 8 different memory locations here the size of each element is 8 8 bits and each element is stored in one memory location so they are total 8 elements and they are stored in 8 memory locations so each element in unpacked array is stored in different memory locations hence the unpacked array needs more memory compared to packed array so this is all about packed and unpacked array thank you for watching